Hi friends, this is Avinash Pujari. In session one, we are going to cover the AIX history and power history. So you have already seen my profile, I'm IBM AIX certified. Let's start the session. So AIX history. So IBM launched their AIX version one in 1986 for their IBM 6150 RT was station and it was based on Unix system five releases one and two. In developing AIX, IBM and Interactive System Corporation also incorporated source code from 4.2 and 4.3 BSD Unix. Then later they produced AIX version 3 also known as AIX 6000 based on system V release 3 for their power based RS6000 platform. So if you see from the RS6000 onwards they started grabbing more market. Since uh, 1990, AIX has served as a primary operating system for the RS6000 series. Later, uh, they renamed IBM eServer P series, then IBM System P, and now IBM Power Systems. After that, they launched the AIX version 4, introduced in 1994. They have added the uh, Symmetrix multiprocessing with the introduction of first RS6000 SMP servers and continued to evolve through the 1990s version 4.1 it was slightly modified form was also the standard operating system for the apple network server systems and sold by the apple computer to complement the macintosh line then a beta test version of ax 5.l for the ia64 systems was released but according to the documents released in the sco versus ibm lawsuit less than 40 licenses for the finished Monterey Unix were ever sold before the project was terminated in 2002. In AIX 5L, they launched the 5.1, 5.2, 5.3 versions. Then in year uh, 2007, AIX 6 was launched. It ran as an open beta from June 2007 until the general availability of AIX 6.1 on November 2007. Major new features were in uh, 6.1 included full role based access control. Uh, WPAR concept, enhanced security, and live partition mobility on the Power 6 hardware. AIX 7.1 was announced in year 2010 and open beta ran until general availability of AIX 7.1 in September 2010. Several new features included better scalability, enhanced clustering, and management capabilities were added. In AIX 7.1, it includes a new built-in clustering capabilities called cluster of AIX and 7.2 is the latest version of AIX. It was announced in year 2015 and released in December 2015. Now in 7.2 uh, there are features like live kernel update capabilities which allows operating system fixes to replace the entire AIX kernel with no impact to application. AIX 7.2 was also restructured to remove obsolete components. The networking components boss.net.tcp.client was repackaged to allow additional installation flexibility. Unlike 7.1, 7.2 is only supported on systems based on Power 7 or latter processors. So if you have Power 5, Power 6, then you'll not be able to use the AIX 7.2 version. Power 7 compulsory required or Power 8. Now let's see the history of the power hardware. So power stands for performance optimization with enhanced risk. So risk means it's a reduced instruction set of computing. The first processor was uh, with name Power ISA. It was launched in year 1990, followed by Power Series, uh, Power 1, Power 2, Power 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So while recording this video, Power it is the latest processor available in the market and the power 9 will very soon uh, be launched in the market so let's see power isa if i click on this link it will take me to the wikipedia page on wikipedia you can read the complete information related to the power hardware so you can see ibm power instruction set architecture it was the first processor launched in the market in power series then uh, let's see the power 7 if i click on power 7 it will take me to the power 7 wikipedia page and uh, 
here is the information available so for more info you can go to the wikipedia and read this complete information all the models information is also available with the uh, wikipedia page now our main goal is to see the power 8 so if i click on power 8 it will take me to the 3d view of the power 8 servers so you can see different different servers are available different different models are available let's see let's see power system s824 and it will show the complete 3d view so this is the 8 ssf hdd then um, operation panel this is dvd this is a 2 usb port and ssd disk drive we can put over here let's see the back view of the server and in back view we can see the power supply ports and the other ports available with this this is a hmc port then two usb 2.0 two usb 3.0 then power supply you can see four power supplies are there and um, four port 1g four port 1ge lan if i do the zoom you can see these are the hard drives available and this is the power 8 processor let's open the uh, cover and inside of this you can see the two processors are available this is the complete info of the server it maximum two processor card deployed and one tb ram we get with this really good uh, 3d view we get from this so two power at dual chip model 16 tall dim and uh, fans also available let's insert the cover so this is how it looks let's see one more model this time we'll see the 870 so this is the uh, complete rack where we get the IO drawers and the management server also and this is the complete view of the rack let's see the power IO drawer and again we can see complete 3d view of this machine so in this uh, it is the 64 uh, dim slots available up to 4 tb and um, processor cores maximum 8 so 64 processor or 80 processors we can add into this let's insert this one into the rack again then let's remove the control unit and this is the complete this is the control unit information pause this video and you can read the complete information so this is the back view of the server let's insert it again and let's see the IO drawer also this is the information related to IO driver pause the video to see the complete info and this is the complete 3d view let's insert this again so this is all about the power hardware 
Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe our YouTube channel to get more information.